So it's been about two months since I've gone shopping. So I'm gonna show you what I carry in my pantry. I'm not gonna give you a run through on what's in my fridge or freezer, um, just the pantry stuff. So a few people have been asking for it. So I'll show you what's in it. It's gonna be a bit of a video, but I wanna try and make it as detailed as possible for you. So if you really wanna know, here it is. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, nice. Right, where do I start? So there's a little bit here. Don't forget, when I go out, I go out for a while. Um, I'll, I'll try and make it as detailed as possible and not forget anything, but it could be hard. Um, so I'll start off with the bags. So I've got individual bags. So one, it's easy. You can pack certain things into certain bags. So you're not putting everything into a big trunk. Um, I've got another little strategy around all this as well if that's the right word for it um first bag okay i've got vinegar um white and brown i like pickling stuff that's probably the main thing about the vinegar obviously if you get stung by a jellyfish or something too you know that just yeah uh, things like that um it's gonna be so hard to remember you know to say every detailed thing that's the only problem sorry um I've got a soda stream maker. So because it, it saves me a lot of weight doing this way because I'm not carrying tins of Pepsi. I'm not, you know, carrying all that other sort of stuff. I love water. Um, so pretty much I just fill up water and that's one of the really the only liquids that I carry other than spare fuel. Um, so I'll make my own, yeah, Pepsi. So for my drink, so I can have a drink or two. Um, what else is in here? Bit of golden syrup, I don't mind me dumplings, golden syrup dumplings. Uh, bit of rock sold in there. That could be if more so, not for so much boiling crabs or anything, because uh, you get that from the beach. Um, it's more like to preserve stuff. So if I want to dry out some fish or, or um, oh, what else, anything, anything like that, cooking. Um, yeah, bits and pieces. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that bag. I'll move them to the side, that's what I'll do. Um, moving over to this bag, this bag's an easy bag. Pretty much, it's just full of these packet foods. So these are backcountry cuisine, cuisine ones, if that's the right way. There's a few different ones out there. So I always carry these if I want to jet off on the quad or if I want to do a boat trip or if I want to go for a wander. These are easy, they're light, boil water up and you got food, you know. Um, it's good to have underneath the seat of your car too, just in case something goes wrong. They're light, they don't weigh nothing, and you just need hot water. I even got, you know, I don't really use them, always lighting fires, but just in case, that's one of your heat um, heat pack things, so they're flameless. Um, so that's that bag. Moving over to this one. And here, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. <laughs> breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. Like I said, guys, when I go out, I go out for a long time. I don't want to have to pack up and go get something little or do you know what I mean? I'd rather have it all on me. Um, bit of bicarb soda. I've got brown sugar, obviously for me coffees, for cooking, stuff like that. Um, so coconut cream milk. So these are powdered ones. Uh, the reason why I've gone, I will tell you when I get to the tin section, but uh, long story short, 
everything I can get in powder I will because tins are just unwanted, you know, unnecessary weight if you can get away with um, stuff like this. So I used to always get the tins of um, uh, like your curry, curry uh, sorry, your coconut milk and stuff like that. But then I end up going to powder form. It's a lot lighter, a little bit more, but um, it's just, it, yeah, obviously I've got to watch my weight. So wherever I can, I, I drop it, the weights. Um, coconut flour, <laughs> mum says it's awesome stuff. So I got it for a bit of cooking and that. To be honest, I've never used it yet, but I'm gonna give it a go. <laughs> so I reckon it'll go good in some of my dishes that I'll do. Um, and a bit of corn flour. So I've got corn flour in here. Corn flour is good for, like, if you don't have talcum powder for chafing and stuff like that. Um, you know, um, yeah, rashes, anything like that, but also cooking. If you want to use it to thicken some stuff up or they say put it in your, um, uh, your batter, fish batter and that, and it gives it a bit more of a crunchier bite to it. So, yeah, um, that's that bag. Like I said, guys, there is a reason why I go this this way too. And I'll, I'll let you know. Over here, like I said, I just like to carry water. And water can do everything for me, like make me Pepsi for me drinks and milk. Milk, milk, milk. This thing here is just a dedicated powdered milk bag. So there's no way I'd get away with getting fresh milk. Um, it's just not going to last. I love me milk. I love me coffee. But something like this can last me months in here. Um, you know, I, I used to go to long life in the one litre containers, but that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight on top of then me water and me spare fuel. So for the amount of milk you can make out of that to the weight of that, bit of a difference. So that's why I went powdered milk. Um, it's just stuff I've learnt over time, you know. Um, what's in here? Oh yeah, spuds, spuds and onions. So a couple of bags of onions, um, stuff like this I really got a ration on, you know, as much as I love it and I reckon I can smash it in the first few weeks. Uh, I make stuff like this last because that's something else you learn to do. <laughs> just like budgeting, you just make stuff last. So it's good that way, you know, you can stay out longer then. So yeah, that's me spuds and um, onions. Also a good thing, you know, they're padded bags, so they're, they're good if it's hot. So yeah, you know, especially in summer, not so much now. Condiments bag, condiments, whatever you say it. Um, so I've got salt, I've got pepper, barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, sweet chili sauce, soy sauce, um, mum's special hot sauce she makes, so I stack up on that, got a few bottles. With me sauce, I do get me bigger bottles so I can top up my little ones. Um, special mix for, f for fish, um, garlic, but yeah, so that's all kept in the one bag, so that's pretty much used all the time. So that's why I've got all that bits and pieces in that one bag. Uh, over here. So, more crumbs. This is the crumbs I go to when I open and pack it up, I put it in a container. Um, I've got Gravox, pasta, I carry heaps of pasta, heaps and heaps, and I try and get the two minute ones, I think they're two minutes or whatnot, yeah, they're, so they are a lot thinner, but they don't take as long, so you're not using as much gas to cook them, <laughs> just little things. Um, and if you're really hungry, they don't take long. <laughs> rice, I love my rice, and I carry a lot of rice. So I've got a couple of bags of rice. But like I said, that's, that, that'll that last me for a long, long, long time. Um, I've only pretty much just got a new one actually, so, so that's that bag. So the reason why I carry these bags, one, because you don't have to pull out a whole tub, two, they weigh nothing, um, three, I know when these bags are full, I'm, I'm around my weights, you know, if I, whatever can't fit in them, Obviously, I'll be over my weight, so I know when these bags are full of what because I get the same pretty much the same thing over and over again. But yeah, when they're full, I know um, how much roughly I am weighing because there is a lot of weight worth of food here. Um, but yeah, just have to sacrifice other things. I'm only one person, I don't got a lot of linen, 
I don't carry a lot of clothes, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, average is out. You can't compare what I do to um, a whole family, you know. They, of course, they're going to have a bit of weight on board with them. Um, they got to carry a lot more clothes and stuff. So that's where my advantage is I can carry more of other things than I do of other things, if that makes sense. So I can have more food on board with me because I don't got a lot of other stuff that people have to usually have on board. Tin food weighs a lot, but I can't do without it. <laughs> um, and obviously, you know, there's no shops out there. Um, I do eat fresh. I eat a lot of fresh, you know, fish and stuff like that, crab, um, shellfish, whatever's out there, you know, oysters, pippies, whatever I can get my hands on. Um, cherubin, red claw, depending on where I am. So can't say I'm not eating fresh because I eat good. <laughs> I eat like a king sometimes. But um, this just helps me out. So tin tuna, I love my tuna. You all know that. Um, if I pick up a job, tin tuna for lunches, stuff like that. It's easy. It lasts, lasts forever. So that's one of the main things I do have in here. Um, okay, I've got some spag, tin spag, tin baked beans, stuff like that. Not a lot of them because I don't go short a lot, so I don't want to get a lot of that sort of stuff. I'd rather get more of tuna in that. Um, okay, we got some, you know, your, your shoes in a tin. Easy meal if I couldn't be bothered one night to cook feed. So I've got a few of them. Um, this isn't all the tin food that I have on my trip neither. I'm not going to pull the other one out because it's underneath the actual bed, but I call it like Woolies, Coles, IGA, whatever you want to call it, but it sits underneath the bed and I just stack this as I go. So I've probably got a fair bit. Um, oh, there's probably three times as much as what you see in this, this thing here. Same thing, what it's stacked in, I know when it's full, I'm still within my weights. So, anyway, um, sun-dried tomatoes, yum, pizzas, in, you know, tomatoes don't last forever, and I love just having these on wraps, stuff like that, um, tin corn, um, that's one other thing I have changed over a while ago, so I've still got a couple left, but the big corns, when I used to use them, I wouldn't use the whole tin, so I'd crack it open, probably only use half a tin, not even that for a meal. Uh, then you have to put the other half in the fridge and pretty much base your next few meals around something that you're going to use it in. So they are a little bit more dear, like I said, but I end up going the little, they're like a, a portion, like, you know, you could get away with two meals. So I went the little tin, so that whole tin goes straight into a meal. I'm not having to worry about room in the fridge or using it up, having to use it up. So that's another thing I did. Um, yep, got it. Heap of tin corn, um, peeled tomatoes, diced tomatoes, whatever, anything tin tomato I love because I love my spaghetti. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so I've got quite a few tins of that stuff. So that's probably one of my main ones. That corn, um, same thing. These are just from an old trip that I've got. So a couple of tins left of um, coconut milk. So I'm trying to get rid of them. Um, braised steak and onion, yum, yum. Um, pineapple, not a lot of tins of them, but I do have a couple because they're good for a dessert. I can make little fritters out of them. You know, you dice them up, put them on your pizza if you want. I'm not a big fan of that on pizza, but you can if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, bits and pieces can be used for anything. Bully beef, tin corn meat, holy shit, fritters, mate. Oh, make good fritters out of them. Um, yep, I do carry quite a few of them. That's the same thing. If I couldn't be bothered cooking, one night, I don't have to, it's it's quite easy. Pull a tin of that out, whip up a bit of a batter, put it through it, and just shallow fry it, make fritters. Um, ham, you like your, your ham, uh, this is not too bad, You can because you can actually cut it up. I don't mind frying it, you know, if you want to put it on a wrap or something like that, or I'd dice it up and fry it off like little bits of bacon and put it in pastas and stuff like that. It's not too bad. When you do it that way, like it's really not too bad at all. It's just the fact that I can't carry enough of um, like frozen foods to uh, last. So that's just uh, are there to get me out of trouble and still enjoy a meal. <laughs> Condensed milk. Mm -mm, I could eat that shit out of the tin. Um, good for like, you know, same thing. I like me sweets, you know. I've got to have some desserts. 
Um, over here, cream cheese. Don't get it often, but when I do, I absolutely love it. That there is good in curries. You get a couple of teaspoons of that and you put it in your curry. Oh, I just feel like it goes so good in them. Um, that cheesy flavor thickens it up a little bit. Um, petty um, potatoes. These things are wicked. Like, carry me normal potatoes. I always like having me normal potatoes because you can wrap them up in foil, make chips out of them, do bits and pieces, you know, they go a bit further. But these just are brilliant if you're doing curries or any meals that you don't want to have to sit there and boil, like wait till the, they get soft, so that's extra cooking time. These, pretty much soft, you're heating them up. They do weigh a bit more, but they're, you know, other things that I've um, dropped weight on allow me to take some good things like that. Um, that's pretty much what's in there. I do have, obviously this one too, I do have bits and other pieces that I don't actually have in here, underneath there. Uh, for the simple fact that um, this is enough for me for the next few weeks to do them what I've got to do until I pull up and then I'll, you know, set up somewhere and then the quad will come off and I can have access to um, stuff underneath the trailer if I need. I'll just leave that there. Over here, this one. Okay, what I will do, I'll pack him up later. I'll put him over there. This one here. So. So pretty much, these two containers here are like my pantries. They sit in the back of the ute, so they're easy to get to. So I'm not dragging out any of this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, when I, I go to the pantry, like you go into the pantry, that's when I go to the pantry. And when I go to this stuff is like when I'm going shopping. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's just bits and pieces, same thing, coconut curry. Um, I've got some of these nice little things. Um, they're like uh, green curry in a hurry. Uh, Brie ended up actually getting me these a while ago. So I've used the spag bowl one and it is the best spag bowl you've ever tasted. What are they, mingle or something like that? Mingle no nasties or something. But yeah, handy, easy little meals to do in a hurry. Uh, that's a burrito Mexican one. Um, deviled sausages packets. French onion, French onion, I like my French onion because I can put it in a bit of everything. Um, make French onion dip out of it if you got, you know, cottage cheese or whatever. Just, yeah, anything, think outside the box. That's that coconut flour that mum got me, so I'm yet to try it. I've got a few of them. She reckons it's really nice. So on fish, uh, curry powder, I've got a dry rub, so a dry marinade, sorry, pretty, same thing. Um, so yeah, I can put it on steaks, chickens, anything like that. Just, yeah, just doesn't, I don't know, just, it's easy for me. It's, yeah, practical. I can use as much as what I need and not have to use the whole packet of it, what it comes in, to, you know, in, what it comes in from when you buy it from the, sh like, like in a liquid form. That's what I was trying to say. So yeah, just take out what I need and use it and the rest is okay. Um... What have we got here? Hot habanero. So this is stuff that stuff that I've gotten um, randomly. <laughs> so sometimes I don't mind trying things that are a bit different just to see how it goes, see if it's going to work for me. Um, that's the best thing about when mum comes along and <laughs> does a bit of a shop for me if we ever catch up. She gets some things that I wouldn't think of sometimes, you know, and then I think that's going to work in the future, so I'll roll with that. Um, olives. Oh, I love olives. Um, yep, a couple of things of them. They're a good thing, like you got to make them last. That's one of the things that I have on board that, yes, I do have to make last. Pickled ginger. Always good and refreshing. <laughs> um, green curry. So I got the green curry in the jar. Same thing, the only problem about in the jars is when you crack it open, scoop some out. Got to go in the fridge sometimes. So that's why I like my powder. But um, yes, it's still, it's just it's still good to have. <laughs> um, Vegemite, love me Vegemite, yum, yum, yum. I just got like, you know, your salsa mix. So if one night I wanna have something a bit different, got a bit of a salsa mix. And this one here, in case I've got a sweet mouth, got that like a chocolate drink. So you can make a bit of a, what do they call Like a 
what are they, what's the proper name for them? Like a mocha, is it? I'm not sure. But like you have chocolate, coffee, and milk. So I think that's the name. That's what I make anyway. Yep. Some noodles. Same thing. If I don't want to use rice or pasta in the dish, crack it up, throw it in the noodles. A couple of minutes and they're done. Um, so, like... Things like that is, I may not use all the time, but they're there if I want to, or they're there if I need to on a rainy night, or anything like that. Options, options, options. They don't weigh a lot. Um, sometimes I do get your packet pastas or packet rices. They're another easy meal when you're on the road, like, they don't take that long. Um, chicken, chicken soups. I don't mind chicken soup, especially on a cold winter's day or... You know, if I'm peckish and I don't know what I want, I'll just have chicken soup. Um, also good in dishes. And then, like I said, some rice in there so I don't have to go into the shopping. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's that part. Pretty much the main. Flowers, yep, I go through a lot of flour. Um, be cooking, baking, fish, batters, you know, damper. Um, anything like that. Cooking, yeah, cooking I said that, eh? So I've got plain and self, but what I think I will do, took me a while, but um, what I'll end up going is I'll probably just go all plain. So I'm not having to carry plain and self, I'll get all plain and I'll get you, what is it, you add a bit of salt to it and baking soda, is it? Baking powder or whatever, I think I actually, I know I've got some somewhere, but yeah, um, I was yeah, talking to someone about it not too long ago. So that might be an option that I can change. So I'll still it I'll still have to carry, you know, so much of it because I do use it a lot. Especially when I get into a little bacon frenzy. I'll go through a fair bit of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that fish, batter, stuff like that. Um over here. So this is just like your little bits and pieces. So I've got Chinese five spice. Uh, chicken chippy salt. <laughs> I've got bonnox, bonnox, um, more curry powder. Um, I have actually homemade um, chili flakes. Egg. So obviously I get eggs. Sometimes I will. They don't last me long. Um, so no egg. I get the powdered form of it. It's not too bad. It's not you know. It's not the best in some dishes, but. Say it'll work for me if I'm <clears throat> so it's not like it's not like you can go out and make scrambled eggs with it. It's, you could, but it just wouldn't be the best for that. But when it comes to cooking, like if you need some in you know, a uh, bit of cooking or something like that, one teaspoon of this equals one whole egg pretty much. Um, I always go a little bit more, but also like you uh, like you cooking, you're doing say whatever I need it for. If I'm making biscuits, if I'm making a cake, or you know anything like that. That's where it comes in handy, and that's what I use it more for. So, um, here it is, baking powder. That's what I was trying to think of. That's for the self-raising flour and that, yeah. Um, another thing of Bonox, um, vanilla essence, yum, for cooking, and just got chicken stock there. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Like, these go. I told you it's gonna go for a bit, but yeah, that just gives you an idea of what I carry. Um, I'm pretty, you know, restricted to what I can carry, obviously. Uh, and I'd rather carry stuff like that because, like I said, it's been over two months now. Um, and I haven't even gotten any stuff for the freezers, so any of that sort of food I haven't gotten either. Uh, except cheese, sorry. I got cheese the other day. But yeah, I, I still pretty much still got quarter of my freezer left the food left uh, with food left in it so we've also been catching fish out here so that, that keeps it going too but yeah anyway like I said if there's anything else you just want to see about the camp let us know I'll probably do a, another video on the cold section you know what meats I carry and stuff like that um, but yeah that, that was just a run down on what my um, pantry is all about and what I carry in that so easy cheers guys and if you do want to support the channel Please jump on, we have cookbooks. Um, gives you a bit more of an idea of what I've got happening. Uh, we've got merch and that, so yeah, if you jump onto the website, uh, www.thecampman.com.au and 
you can help us keep pumping these videos out, that'd be great. Cheers, guys. Catch you, eh?